We are childhood friends, Vicky and Diana. We had tickets to see Gwen Stefani in residence in Las Vegas, but they got canceled due to the popular sickness. When things reopened, we rebooked the trip and rebooked the show. In our last video, we checked out some Vegas resort hotels. Today, we tried the buffet, saw the gondolas, and finally got to enjoy the concert. Thank you for coming. I mean, who comes all the way to Vegas to see Gwen Stefani? Hi, this is Di, and it is day two of our trip to Las Vegas. We're at the buffet at the Bellagio and Vicky's place. Because it was a she ate breakfast. I had breakfast, so I have a little waffle, a little pancake, some breakfast meat, and actually I cheated and I've got some roasted vegetables and some chicken. Let's see how much Vicky and I have in common on our plate. Now I got some mussels and some clams and some fried rice and some oysters Rockefeller and some shrimp and fish and chips. And I cheated and got some roasted vegetables. <laughs> I have finished my first plate. The highlight was, oh, the mussels. I've never really liked them that much, but they were really good. They, they did something to them. They were very, very moist, and they were very, very flavorful, which is not what I would usually say of mussels. And so that was really good. And the low light was my vegetables. Mine were not cooked. All right, so I'm finishing up my first plate. Highlight was the roasted chicken was really good. Oh, good. My roasted vegetables were cooked perfect. They were fine, so they weren't like Diana's. And the not so good part was this pancake thing. I'm not gonna finish, it's not worth it. You don't want to waste room in your stomach when you pay for a buffet. That's why I went for the expensive fish first. All right, I know that with my stomach problems, I can't eat very much, so I had gone for the most expensive thing, and now I'm going for dessert. A lemon tart, a cheesecake, and some caramelized apples. I went for my lunch portion, I went for Asian, so I've got some bok choy, baby bok choy, some rice, some sweet and sour, or some kind of pork, noodles, and then we're at the Bellagio, I'm trying a piece of what looks like really bad pizza. Yes. Because it's Italian. <laughs> That's the best I can do. Yeah. And one piece of bacon, bacon. for the road. <laughs> Is there a potato or something? Oh, there's a potato. Yes. And a potato. All right. All right. I got a middle mini dinner. Salmon, mashed potatoes, aw juice because I can't have gravy, and asparagus because asparagus is expensive. <laughs> I found the gluten-free, vegan, dairy-free muffin, so I think it's probably going to be a rock. I'm I feel like I'm trying to beat the house. Like, I paid so much for this. How can I eat that much worth of food? No. There's like no filler. First of all, my low lies, this watermelon juice is terrible. Really? Did not like that. I thought it was fine. Um, pretty much was a highlight because I cleaned my plate. <laughs> you did. What was your favorite? The spicy Asian noodles. Were really oh, good. those were really good. They have carrot juice and mixed vegetables, so you can find out what else is terrible. Hey, what was it? Carrot juice and a mixed vegetable juice. So you could have more terrible juice. Uh, I've done with terrible juice. <laughs> <laughs> they know low light, everything was good. Surprisingly, the asparagus was cooked through and tender. The fish wasn't overdone, so it was good. But the surprise player in this is my but It's lemon poppy seed. The outside feels really hard and dense, but the inside is sort of light and puffy and moist. Lemon poppy seed muffins for the win. So my mini dinner is I got some more noodles, two little pieces of tortellini to try them, some broccoli, and some more roasted vegetables. <laughs> nice. Stephen brought back a little carrot for me because there were no tongs when I went through and I couldn't have a carrot. But what is the one thing that Diana can always eat no matter how full she is? Mango sorbet. Oh my gosh, where did you find that? It was right with the ice cream. I just never saw the ice cream station. So I have a little okay. chocolate mousse thing. We'll see if it's any good. Chocolate mousse. With marshmallows on top. Okay. And then this is the flourless chocolate cake. Oh. Uh, Flowers chocolate cake, my guess is hockey puck. It's in low lights from this round. Low lights, not no. very good. The um, top chocolate just tastes like perfect syrup mm. on the top of it, and that's not so good. The mousse below it, it's okay. Okay. okay.
YouTube, so there's no reason for me to film. And it's 9 15 for a 9 o'clock show, and people are still getting their seats, which is kind of nice. They're not all walking in front of us during the show, but 9 o'clock is already really late. here tonight, okay? Because it's a Wednesday. It is a Wednesday. Who goes to Vegas on a Wednesday during a pandemic? I just, I'm just figuring it out that it's probably the weirdos. And you have to suffer. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I wish I could kiss you guys. I love you. Oh my god. You look amazing. I'm I'm literally risking my life. I have children, okay? So stay away from me and take a very like whatever picture. that I've shared with you are painful, like painful truths about things that have happened to me in my life. And uh, so I wanna thank you because you helped me heal. So thank you very much. But some of the songs I actually hate doing still. And, and this song I actually hate. But because I love you guys, because I love you guys, I'm gonna do this song. I'm gonna have to take off my legs.
like real people that actually wrote some of the songs that I'm singing tonight are here today. Justin Tranter's here. Um, so I purposely messed up on, on misery on the second verse just so that you could see if you could remember the words. I love you. You guys, Justin helped me through that whole record. He's an incredible talent. I think he brought 14,000 people here tonight. Thank you so much. Thank you for coming. I mean, who comes all the way to Vegas to see Gwen Stefani? I mean, that's, that's a lot of effort. Just when I see you and I, I'm up here and it's just this crazy show I never thought I would do, um, I think back to this next song and when I wrote this song, and I was just, I was so naive, like I, nobody, I, nobody knew who I was, I didn't know who I was. I was living with Patty and Dennis in Anaheim, California, my parents, and, uh, and I wrote this song, and it's just strange because all these years later, I feel like this song is more relevant than it's actually ever been, you know? <laughs>